אשר יצר. אשר יצר is one of the easiest ways to get a מצווה that's going to give you protection for health. All of us know about the story about my health, Baruch Hashem, 16 years already I'm suffering with health issues, but Baruch Hashem, it's Gan Eden in comparison to what it was the first seven years. Now most people don't understand the value of health until they lose it. One time a guy goes to a uh, seminar by Arachim. Everybody heard from Arachim? Arachim, very, very famous organization. And his professor, at the end of the seminar, Shabbaton, they had, he tells the rabbi, listen, between you and me, the whole thing's a joke. I don't believe in anything. I don't believe there's a God. I don't believe there's a Torah. I don't believe this. I don't believe that. I'm my own God. I'm my own this. Tells all types of shtiot, he says. This is just a waste of my time and my money. So the rabbi says, you know, you can listen to, to Hashem in two ways. One, you can listen to it through me. It's painless. I tell you what to do, and you do it. I tell you what it says in the Torah. I save you the time, and you do what he says. Or he talks to you. But when he talks to you, it's very different. It's not the same thing. If you're Moshe Rabbeinu, you hear a voice. If you're not Moshe Rabbeinu, there's no voice. There's usually a pow. There's usually a nice slap. There's usually something happens. And when Hashem talks to you, He's usually going to talk to you in the smallest things. So the professor is interested. He says, what do you mean the smallest things? He says, for example, like going to the bathroom. Maybe one day you're just not able to go to the bathroom. Or you go too much. So the professor says, what are you making a joke out of this? At least tell me something scary. What bathroom? What are you talking about? And he runs away. The next day, the professor calls the rabbi once after another after another until he gets him on the phone. Finally, he picks up the phone and he's crying hysterical. The rabbi says, what happened? He says, I have to see you. I have to see you. Okay, fine. You have to see me. What happened? He goes, I have to see you. Please, please, please. Okay, come to my office. No, come to the Bet Midrash. I'm learning over here. He gives him the address. Come whenever you want. The guy runs over there. He runs into the Bet Midrash, hysterical, crying like a little baby. The rabbi says, what happened? He says, I believe in God. Okay, great. Chazak why are you crying? He says, because for the first time in 50 years, I realized how much of a nothing I am because for the first time in my life, I lost control of my ability to go to the bathroom and I relieved myself inside my bed with my wife being there. One, number one, number two, number every number. The biggest embarrassment of my life happened to me last night after I said I don't believe in God. And you told me he's going to rebuke me in this way. I know it's a shame. Now, he got it technically discount he got he, he did tshuva for a discount most people don't have such merits most people it's much more expensive most people it's much more painful he got the message right away so anyone that wants a special merit to have refuah make sure to read asher yatsar with full kavanah meaning don't play with your phone and think asher yatsar at the same time because you know it by heart because you did it a thousand times look at the poster Put it on your wall just like it's a famous Picasso painting, but this is much more valuable. Look at the words and say Asher Yatzar. Say it. Think about it and just think about how amazing it is that you're actually able to go to the bathroom without screaming. You're able to go to the bathroom without crying. You're able to go to the bathroom, period. There's a woman that came to my shiur just a few weeks ago. She told me that her, uh, her sister, who's only in her 20s, has to go to the bathroom with a tube. She has a tube connected to her. That's the only way she can go to the bathroom. Trust me, if she had the ability to do this blessing and get herself out of it, she'd do it a thousand times a day. We don't have to wait for that. So that's mitzvah number two.